think this is one of my relatives. <laughs> Subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you'll be tripping. Hello, everyone. This is Trippin' Tracy. Today's trip brings us to Savannah, Georgia. Some nice couple just gave us a $3 off coupon for the Prohibition Museum. I don't drink because drinking affects your decision making. You may be right. I can't decide. <laughs> Billy Sunday said Savannah is the wickedest city in the world. Don't give me that drag ass sh I got stood up and I'm pissed off. Give me twenty dollars. You get paid on Friday like everyone else. What do you need $20 now Give for? Give me $20 and need to get f***ed up as well. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. Oh, so these, look at these kids. These kids are trying to get drunk. Thousands of farmers, brewers, distillers, coopers, distributors, truck drivers, warehouse workers, and clerks were put out of work by prohibition. We're responsible for it. They've just lost their jobs. America's big breweries prepared for prohibition by flipping their business models to make brand new products with little modification to their factory machinery. WCTU portrayed German American brewers as the enemy. Oh my goodness, she's <laughs> she's coming at me with an axe. <laughs> okay, so it's a symbol to cut out the evil. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> Men like David Gingling, Fred Miller, beer brewers who believe that they have both a constitutional and God-given right to brew beer and drink it. They don't think they have to worry because women don't have the right to vote yet. The decisions you make will have consequences that will haunt you. They don't think anybody's going to listen to what a group of women have to say, and the brewers decide that their best strategy is to simply sit back, wait, let them talk, and let all this prohibition stuff blow over on its own. I think we should try to go to the Black Rabbit Tavern, but this gentleman right here is preventing us from doing so. I think this is one of my relatives. <laughs> These are temperance buttons and bows from the early 1900s. Prohibition says you can't make alcohol in no way. Legal or illegal, all the citizen rooms closed, all the business, you cannot buy, drink, sell, out, go nowhere. Well, guess what? That was breakfast in moonshine. That business is booming here. By the end of the prohibition, Walgreens had over 525 outlets nationwide. The rampant growth was attributed to Walgreens capitalizing on its prescription whiskey business. Prohibition was the catalyst for the Klan's resurgence, their membership skyrocketing to five million men by the late 1920s. What the hell are 
are you two jokers? <laughs> Names and addresses of the three men who shot up Chalky White's warehouse. Seconds. Only Capone kills like that, George Bugs Moran. The only man who kills like that is Bugs Moran, Al Capone. <laughs> and he's described the rise of the American gangsters, you know, organized crime. My grandmother actually was a waitress in a bar in Miami that was frequented by Al Capone. Look at this scene. This is terrifying. If you don't listen, you're gonna swim with the fishes. What the hell is this? That means a little brass, he sleeps with the fishes. In 1929, there were 32,000 speakeasies in New York. Are we going into a speakeasy? Oh, we got booze. Oh, that's kind of cool. They bring it, bring you out into a bar so you can have a drink. How much for a beer? It's gratis. Ooh, that sounds expensive. Happy days are beer again. It's happy news for the grain ranges of the United States and for many others throughout the land. This is a bootlegger. Gotcha. Oh, Wait. I'm a fire. Okay. Oh. All right, you're not on fire. I knew it. You're lying. I'm burning. I'm Where is going? I mean, he's running around like, like he's on fire. Oh, my God. Help me. I don't want to die. So, here's to you, your family, and your health. And as President Roosevelt said after he signed the 21st Amendment, what America needs now is a drink. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.